Hello everyone and welcome, it's Shanna. Now today is um, actually kind of a part two of a video that I did October 14th with the Disco Balls, but I'm gonna use this Shine Bright product here. It is a layered Shine Bright stencil and it has five layering stencils and a mask. And I'm going to use my Uncharted Mariner, Broken China, Tumbled Glass and Salvage Patina inks for this. And we're gonna create a card and um, this is actually going to be the second video of three because I'm going to do another one with the disco balls and the better press and a better press stencil. I just have not gotten around to that yet. So the first one I did, I just used the um, the disco balls and the glimmer plate that was released with this set. And for this one, I'm using the the five layered stencil and the shine bright die set and they are a shadow die set I'm not going to use the shadow on this I'm just going to use the dies but I'm going to lay this first stencil down and this is kind of the piece that the mask comes out of and I'm just going to use it to kind of um, lay down there to help uh, line up my other stencils and then I'll just start layering them and so I've got the first stencil that has part of the S and I'm trying to decide what color I'm going to use and I decided to go ahead and start with my darkest which is the Uncharted Mariner and um, get it blended up and that uh, ink pad is not that juicy and I don't know why because it is a newer one but um, I noticed that I had to really rub a lot to get um, enough ink on there to get just a solid concentration of ink so you'll see I'm pressing pretty hard on that. And then when I move on to the other ones, they kind of go a little bit quicker because um, they're a little bit juicier. So I don't know. I guess I need to buy some re-inkers and do some re-inking of my Distress Oxides. So this, I, as you can tell from the inks that I've got laying out there, this is going to be a just a blue-toned card. And I'll just, this is the first time I've actually used it. I just opened up the package and thought, I'll just do some blending here and we'll just create a card. And now I'm going to use the Broken China for my next layer and just layer it up. So miraculously, the boys both took a nap at the same time today. So I was able to create this card while they were sleeping. And I finished up just as the, youngst, the youngest, the two-year-old, uh, decided to get up. He usually wakes up first. He doesn't, for some reason, doesn't sleep as long as his older brother does. Um, but anyway, so I was able to do that, which is a rare and beautiful moment. Now I'm gonna use the um, salvaged patina on this one. And I've got to clean my brush because I use the tumbled glass and it's a little bit darker than the salvage patina and I'm using the same brush so I'm just using some paper towel and cleaning it up a little bit and then I'll bring in that um, salvage patina actually I think that's tumbled glass is what I'm meaning yeah it's tumbled glass the salvage patina is the last one that I used it's the tumbled glass that is still in the blue hue and I'm using kind of my till blue brush there and then I'll bring in my my lighter brush for the um, salvage patina that I'm doing. Now this one um, kind of gets, I think, um, I've got a little piece of plastic left on there. And this one will kind of get the part of the N and I think part of the G and a little bit of the T and we'll get it inked up. Now, I did notice I had a little bit of trouble with my G, but once I got my um, cinnamon laid down on there, you, you don't really notice it. And I thought that these colors really um, blended nicely together and made for a really pretty card. And I did notice that the stencils overlapped a little bit and I'm not sure why, because I'm using that corner to line them all up exactly right, but it seemed like they did overlap a little bit. And 
And I'm just going to bring in that um, masking layer. And this is so, I guess, so you can blend around what you've stenciled and not mess up your stenciling. So at first I thought I wasn't going to use it, but then I decided to go ahead and use it. And so I'm just going to grab um, a color to put around. I thought about just leaving it white. That's what I'm kind of showing you there. And then I lay that back down. And then I decide that a gray would look really pretty with this teal um, kind of color blue, teal blue color scheme that I've got going on. So I'm going to grab my Lost Shadow. And for that, I've just got to I don't know, a pouncer, whatever you call these things, sponge dauber. Um, that's what I use for the lost shadow. And I'm just going to blend around it there and kind of fill in around my stenciled area. And I know I'm going to cut that left side off. So it doesn't matter if I don't get it on there. And I'm trying to get guess where my card base is going to be and I don't get all the way to the bottom but I'm kind of okay with it because it kind of fades off to white and I think it winds up turning out okay now I've got um, ink on my hand so I've got to get them all cleaned off so that I don't mess up my um, paper and then we'll just lift this off and this is what we're left with so I'll clean up my workspace a little bit make some more room and then we'll get to cutting this down to a panel now, before I got started, I, I would have had a little bit more time uh, crafting, but I had made up my mind. I sat down with my planner this morning, and I made a list of things that I was going to do, that I was going to make sure that I did. And one of the first things that I wrote down was that I was going to get my desk, my craft desk, cleaned off so that I would have some more workspace and remove some of the items that I typically leave on my desk because I just want more open space on my craft desk and I'm tired of feeling confined and like I don't have a lot of space. So I spent probably an hour doing that. Um, what else did I write down? Let me see here. I wrote down that I was going to get rid of all of my paper bits too. Um, I wanted to clean my desk off and move several things to the credenza and then reorganized so that I would have larger workspace on my desk. And I was going to pitch all the paper bits. Um, I had this box that um, was empty, and I thought, while it was sitting there, I was just going to move all of those paper bits and get rid of them. And so I only kept things that I thought would be um, big enough or um, cardstock that I really like, I only kept the scraps from that and I got rid of the rest of it. Now I'm going to bring in this um, silver metallic. This came with part of the holiday Spellbinders gift uh, cardstock package where it was kind of a blend. And it's not um, the quality of the regular um, metallic silver that you get, essential cardstock. Um, and you'll see I have to trim up my G a little bit because it's it doesn't die cut very well. Um, but I'm going to use it because I have it. And so my disco ball did really well. And really all of the letters did. I think I struggled um, with the G the most. And the rest of them pretty much popped out pretty well. So I decided to go ahead and trim this down again because I want to put a layer behind it. And at first I thought I was going to bring in kind of a blue teal layer for it. And then as I was looking at my desk, I decided to use this um, piece of silver here that I'm popping these out of. My, I guess my philosophy is waste not, want not, and so I'm not going to waste that. So I'll use it for my layer on my card. So I'm starting to get back in the groove from being on vacation um, just getting back in the routine. Um, I've, I'm getting my eating. I'm getting back on my eating routine with my intermittent fasting and my carb cycling. And I'm getting back on my sleep schedule and back into my craft room. And I'm getting organized and kind of getting my thoughts in order for what I need to be working on. So I'm really happy with that. I had, we had a great time, you know, we, out of, the last, I don't know, 25 days, we were on vacation, 20 days of that, and it was fantastic, and um, really enjoyed it. 
but now I've got to get back in the groove and get busy and um, get some stuff done. So I hope you'll enjoy the content that I'm bringing, the new products. Um, I've got several things that I'm going to work with and some more things coming. I bought some things that are going to be fun as well. And I'm looking forward to, to sharing. Plus, we're getting, um, you know, we've started KCC 16 and we've got a lot of hops that are going to happen. And um, I'm going to be working with the 15 cards. I did my first four cards um, on uh, actually today's video, which is the 17th. And I did uh, what I'm calling my fall set. And I used for the first four or the first six of them, you can use the uh, the essential card dies for that from Pink and Main, and I did use those for my first four. So here I'm just going to get all of these laid down. I didn't. I chose not to use the shadow. I thought I would just lay them right down on here. Now I could have used, as I was thinking about it when I was editing this video, I could have brought in some vellum, and I think that would have looked pretty. But I did just choose to lay the letters straight down on the um, stenciled area there, and. I'm just using my tweezers to pop the centers out of the R and the B, and we'll just get them laid down. And my husband's been out mowing, and I got the alarm that he is back in the driveway, so he'll be popping in here pretty soon, and I may have to pause to finish this, because he um, will definitely uh, come in talking. <laughs> so he is a chatty patty. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I'll get my B laid down on there and the rest of my letters and this shine bright will come together. I've got an idea for this card already and that's why I went with the blue scheme. I um, had a request for some masculine cards the other day and I have hundreds of cards and we were going through them and I barely had any. So I'm going to have to do like a little series on masculine cards so that I can build my stash up so that I'll have some available. Um, and the suggestion was made that I put the masculine cards in a separate bin. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I've already um, cleared out a bin for it and I've started, I've got three in there now and I'm going to start building some more so that I'll have some of those on hand. Because I guess I lean toward pink and floral and all that. And so I'm going to have to try and branch out a little bit and create some other things. So we've got all that sentiment down on there. And I've got the um, disco ball die cut out, and I'm just going to lay it down on there flat. We'll just throw some glue on it. I'm trimming up some of that silver that um, was kind of frayed on there a little bit. And we'll just lay this down flat. This is going to be a very flat card, which is just fine because you can mill it easier. And I had previously, from my video one with the disco balls, um, had glimmered a bunch of sentiments that go with this set. And so I won't have to do that on this video. I'll be able to grab the extras that I did. Now here the corner was a little bit bent up, and so I'm pressing on it, and I was flipping it trying to decide which side looked better. And I thought, I'll just bring my bone folder in and kind of go over those corners and smooth it out so that it'll, I'll have a nice corner on there. And then I'm gluing this up, the stenciled panel, and I'm realizing if I lay it down on there, it's going to get glue all over my desk. So I'm going to get a card base, and I've decided to use a colored card base. I don't do that very often, but I thought this would be pretty. And so I'm just going to um, score it up at four and a quarter, and then we'll lay the silver down on here, and then I can get the white laid down without making a mess all over my desk. Because I did just clean it all off, wiped it all down, cleaned my glass board, everything, got everything organized. So we'll just lay some glue down on here. It'll give us some wiggle room with that metallic, and then we'll just get it layered up. And the G was kind of sticking up, so I just dabbed a little bit of glue underneath there, and then we're going to lay this down on there. And I think it'll make a real nice shiny card um, that I can use for, you know, a birthday or anything. 
um, I think you could use it for. So this is where I'm going to grab my sentiment, and I've already got it glimmered. And I've got a little bit of overfoiling on there, so I grabbed some of my pink pixie tape, and I'm just going to put my tape on there and just pick up that overfoiling. Um, I got that little tip from T from Not Afraid of Collar. Um, one day I was watching her, and she said, you just use tape to lift that extra foil off, and by golly, it works. Um, and I'm, gonna, I'm also grabbing that little... Um, mono sand eraser too just to make sure I get every little bit off of there but the tape really works especially if you get like the centers of your letters overfoiled and you lay it on there it'll just pull that right off and leave the letters intact now I um, am bringing in just a real thin foam strip and I'm going to pop it up And then I'll just snap that off and we'll get it laid down on there. Now I decided uh, when I first laid it down there, I wasn't following the angle, but then I decided I wanted to follow the angle of the stencil. And so I just angled it a little bit more and set it down on there. I'm just gonna clean up my mess and we'll take a look at the card. I think it turned out really pretty. Um, just fun, simple card, hope you like it. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Take care, see you soon, bye-bye. <music>